The Baylor for Morian is a recurrent event in Warframe, where Vahek tries to destroy one of the relays with one of his Fomorian ships. This event happens when the construction bar for the Grenier for Morian under the Invasions tab has been completely filled. The event normally lasts around 5 or so days, and you can expect it to come every 3 or so months, or however fast they're able to fill the bar. When the event begins, you'll receive a message from the Lotus in your inbox telling you that the event has begun, and she'll give you the blueprint for the Fomorian Disruptor. The Fomorian Disruptor is a gear item that's required in order to access the Baylor Fomorian node in order to complete the event. In order to craft the Fomorian Disruptor, you'll need a lot of cryotic and a special resource called Omega Isototes. Omega Isotote is an event exclusive resource that drops from the planet where the Baylor Fomorian is currently located. When farming this resource, it's best to do it in an excavation mission because you also need a lot of cryotic to build a disruptor and this way you can kill two birds with one stone. I would recommend having a resource booster because cryotic and omega isotopes both count as resources so a resource booster would double the amount you get. And if you have the Smita Kavat, the charm buff can also double that which can lead to an insane amount of overall resources. When I used this setup, I was able to get 800 cryotic from one excavator, and I was able to get 1600 cryotic from three of them. Running a loot frame such as Korra, Necros, or Hydroid can also increase the number of Omega Isotopes that you can get. After you've gathered the required amount of resources that you need, you can craft a Fomorian Disruptor in your foundry, and then encrypt it to your gear wheel. If you don't have it in your gear wheel, then you'll be unable to access the Baylor Fomorian mission. The mission is an arc wing only mission, so making sure that you have a properly built arc gun and arc wing is very necessary. Your arc wing of choice isn't too important since you can avoid most of the enemies, and when you get into a certain rage of the Baylor from Morian, your abilities are no longer able to be used. I would personally recommend to use the Amisha for the increased survivability, or the Itzel for its increased speed. Your arc gun build is going to be the most important since the mission requires you to do as much damage as possible. I would personally recommend the Mosselon since it has a lot of ammo and it does the most damage. If you don't have the Mosselon then the Fluctus is a good choice. And if you have neither of those you can just run with Imperator and have a good build on it. Most of the things that you're going to have to shoot with your Arc Gunner objects so they won't take critical hit damage or status effects. So it's best to just build for raw damage, ammo capacity and fire rate. Here's the general build that I would recommend. You can use this on any Arc Gun and if you don't have some of the mods. Just put whatever you have or just go without it. You should still be able to complete the mission just fine. Once you have your bills in order and the Fumorian disrupting your gear wheel, you're ready to begin the mission. When you enter the mission, you'll begin in space a few hundred meters away from the Baylor Fumorian. Your main objective is to get inside of it and destroy its core. On your way to the Baylor Fumorian, there'll be special enemy units called Zeppelins that'll put up an energy net that prevents you from leaving until you destroy them. The Zeppelins are normally in predefined locations, so if you move in a certain path and are fast enough, you can avoid most of them. When you get near the Baylor from Morian, you realize that its entrance is blocked by a force field. In order to take down this force field, you'll need to destroy the shield generators. The shield generators will be marked with red waypoints on your map, and you just need to shoot at them until they're completely destroyed. After you destroy them, you're free to enter the Baylor from Morian. Inside the Baylor from Morian, you'll see the power core, but it's protected by yet another shield. The shield is only removed once you activate your Fomorian Disruptor. Once you activate your Disruptor, the shield will be removed and you'll have 30 to 40 seconds to do as much damage to the power core as possible. The best way to increase your damage is to destroy the 16 nodes located around the power core. Each node will increase your total damage done by 25% for a total of 400% increase. While damaging the power core, the two biggest hindrances is the amount of ammo you have and a certain Grenier enemy that slows you down. This is why I recommended Ammo Chain since it increases your total ammo and sometimes you can just ignore the enemy or if you want you can destroy it very quickly and return to damaging the power core. Once the timer reaches zero, the shield around the power core will regenerate and you'll have 30 seconds to get 350 meters away from it or you'll fail the mission. Some rewards require you to do a million damage to the power core, which can seem like a daunting task at first, but once you destroy all 16 nodes on the power core, you only need to do 250,000 damage, which is a lot more manageable. If you follow the advice that I showed in this video, it should be very easy to do. Every time you successfully complete this mission, it will reduce the Fomorian's overall health, which needs to be reduced to zero by the entire Warframe community before the event is over, or the relay will be destroyed, supposedly. 
The main reason to do this event is to get the parts for the Imperator Vandal or to get the Arc Wing and Arc Melee dual stat mods. The Imperator Vandal is exclusive to this mission and this is probably the easiest way to farm the dual stat mods. If you already have these things then there's no real reason to run the mission more than once unless you know you want to save the relay. And uh, that's everything they need to know about how to complete the Baylor for more in event. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like, comment and share it with someone who will find it useful. This is my first video since hitting a thousand subscribers and I'd just like to thank everyone to help me get there. I'm in the process of creating a discord server which I'll provide more information in a community post later and I now have an epic games creator code so if you'd like to support the channel you can use code redeemer when buying a warframe bundle or any other game on the epic game store. And that's all. I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, later.